एवरी वन वेलकम टू द साइंटिस्ट आर अकेडमी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सॉइल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्टली वॉट इज सॉइल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सॉइल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इज नथिंग बट द स्टडी ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज दैट आर फाउंड इन सॉइल एंड इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फादर ऑफ सॉइल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी देन दिस इज द सर्जी वी नो गेट स्की let's know something about the soil as we know that the soil is the uppermost layer of the earth and if we are talking about the combination it contains the mineral and the organic material that can support the plant's life and generally the soil is made up of 45% mineral 25% water 25% air and 5% of the organic matter now come to the next point that is the properties of soil there are three different properties of soil like physical property which includes the color texture structure porosity and temperature etc and now come to the second property that is chemical property which include the exchange capacity ph of the soil and the salinity now come to the next that is the soil biology soil property sorry soil biological property it includes the uh, biological life form found in the soil now come to the next fifth point that is about the soil profile if we are talking about the layers of soil hai na to we we know that there are lots of microorganisms found in the soil but in which layer of the soil the microorganisms are found the answer is the top layer the top layer of the soil has the maximum amount of the microorganisms it is the it is the horizon a in which the most of the microorganisms are present now come to the introductory part in this it has been written that the soil represent represent a favorable habitat for the microorganisms it includes the bacteria actinomycetes fungus cyanobacteria virus protozoa and the other microorganisms it is known that the microorganisms are found in large number in the soil usually between 1 to 10 millions of the microorganisms present per gram of the soil with bacteria fungus and other microorganisms now know about the bacteria in soil bacteria is the single cell organism and it is said that billions of the bacteria are found in the 1 gram of soil and if we are talking about the most abundant microorganisms then these are the bacteria bacteria constitute the most dominant group of microorganisms found in soil and the bacteria are present in all kind all type of the soil but if we are talking about the depth of the soil as the depth increases the number the population of the bacteria decreases now come to the next point and that is what the common bacteria found in soil so most commonly found bacteria that are found in soil are the rod shaped bacteria the bacilli the rod shaped bacteria that are most abundantly found in the soil if we are talking about the curved shaped bacteria then they are rarely found in the soil and now come to the next point that is the most commonly occurring soil bacteria belongs to the genera these are belongs to the pseudomonas orthobacteria clostridium bacillus micrococcus etc and if we are talking about the escherichia then it may found in the soil which will contaminated with the sewage whereas the aerobacteria is frequently encountered and is probably a normal inhabitant of certain soil now come to the function of the bacteria in soil so it generally help in the decomposition of the organic matter and due to the bacterial action the nutrients become available to the plants and the other organisms now come to the next that is fungus in soil like fungi in soil as we know that the fungus is the eukaryotic organism it is dominant in all the soil and possesses the filamentous mycelium mycelium is nothing but the network of hyphae and 
mycelium help in absorption of the nutrients and food from the environment most abundantly the fungus are found in acidic soil but they are also found in the neutral and alkaline ph many fungus which are commonly isolated from the soil are categorized under the fungus imperfectly imperfectly is also known as the deuteromycete they are the class of deuteromycetes because they only reproduce by the asexual spore they lack the sexual cycle in their life cycle okay the most commonly genera of fungus which are encountered in the soil are aspergillus panicillium alternaria etc and if we are talking about the functions of fungi there are two important functions of fungi in soil like decomposition of the organic matter and the help in soil aggregation now come to the next point that is algae in soil as we know that the algae is different microorganism because they have possesses the photosynthetic pigment in them they are generally the aquatic and the eukaryotic if we are talking about that the maximum depth to which the microalgal has been recorded in the soil is 2 meter okay and if we are talking about the classification of the algae then french give the classification it classify the algae in 11 class in which the chlorophyce is one of the class which is most commonly found in soil if we are talking about the xanthophyce xanthophyce is the yellow green algae which are less common in soil and if we are talking about the red algae that are rarely found in the soil and generally the function of the algae is the production of the polysaccharide and it produces the growth substances and antibiotic which may affect the soil flora now come to the next point that is cyanobacteria in soil cyanobacteria are the large photoautotrophic prokaryotes it includes the anabina nostoc etc that are generally found in the soil and it is reported that the cyanobacteria has the ability to fix the atmospheric nitrogen in from air now come to the next point that is actinomycetes actinomycetes are that are that have the ability to form the mycelium hence they have the common character of bacteria and the fungus the number of the actinomycetes increase in the presence of decomposition ag- organic matter and the con- conductive range of ph is 6.5 to 8.5 and if we are talking about the water logging of the soil is unfavorable for the growth of actinomycetes now come to the next that is protozoa in soil protozoa that occur in soil are unicellular and generally they lack the chlorophyll bearing few exceptions the most of the genera that of protozoa found in soil are as follows if we are talking about the functions of protozoa then it means uses of organic manure in soil increases the number of soil protozoa moreover a new study found that the soil has many kinds of rna virus they infect the fungus bacteria plants and animal it is estimated that they also influence the ecology of soil biological community now come to the next that is the role of micro organism in soil if we are talking about the roles then it is first help in the breakdown of organic matter because the micro organism has the ability to release the enzyme that help in the breakdown of organic matter now second is help in recycling nutrient as we know that the bacteria and fungus decompose dead material they also respire and so that they release the co2 to the environment hence they are contributing to the co2 cycle okay now third is help in the create humus the microorganisms that are found in soil creates the humus now the fourth point that is the create the soil structure actually what happens the microorganism binds with the soil particles 
together with their secretion and this help building block for improving the soil structure the next is help in fixing the atmospheric nitrogen as we know that the many cyanobacteria they are capable of fixing the atmospheric nitrogen and ultimately the promote the plant growth as we know that the microorganisms present in the soil increases the soil fertility and which ultimately promotes the plant growth now come to the last point that is control pest and disease it means microorganisms also help in controlling the pest and diseases how let's have the example like the actinomycetes actinomycetes are generally known for the decomposition activity hai na to actinomycetes produces the chitinase okay and as we know that the fungus cell wall is made up of chitin so you can use this actino mycetes chitinase against the fungus okay so ultimately it controls the disease and pest so this overall is the role of microorganism in the soil thank you if you have any doubt then you can comment in a comment box thank you